friends in this video we will study about the subroutine instructions in 8051 microcontroller so let us start with our topic in 8051 microcontroller there are many instructions which are used to do various types of operations now these instructions they are collectively form the instruction set of the 8051 microcontroller now this instruction set it is divided into different categories based upon the type of operation performed by the instructions like if the instruction performs the data transfer operation so it comes under the category of data transfer instructions also if it is performing arithmetic operations or logical operations it will come under the category of arithmetic instructions and logical instructions so in this video we are studying about the subroutine instructions in the instruction set of 8051 The word subroutine means that in the uh, memory of the microcontroller, we are writing the main program. Now, in this main program, if we want that uh, the addition operation, it has to be performed like 10 times we have to perform the addition of two numbers. So, instead of writing the instructions again and again for the addition of two numbers, we are writing a short program uh, other than the main memory where the main program is written. So, other than that memory location, we are writing a short program for the addition of two numbers and every time wherever we need the addition we are going to call that subroutine we are going to execute that subroutine program okay so subroutine we can say it is a short program which is written other at other memory location other than the main program okay now the, uh, if in the main program if we want that uh, we want to execute that subroutine so we have to call that subroutine and when we have executed the subroutine we have to return back to the main program so in this subroutine instructions we consider two instructions the call and the return instructions so whenever we want to call that subroutine we use the call instruction and when we want to return back to the main program we use the return instructions so here the definition of subroutine comes at the short programs which are written at other memory locations okay and which are called again and again in the main program so in this category subroutine instructions we have the call and the return instruction Okay, now in 8051 microcontroller, we have two types of call instruction L call and A call. Means long call instruction and absolute call. instruction okay long call and absolute call the difference between the two is that in long call instruction we use only the 16 bit address and in the absolute call instruction we use the 11 bit address in the microcontroller if we see the addresses they can be like the complete memory location it is of 64 kilobytes the program memory where the program is written so its address range is from 0000 to ff f f so this is the complete 64 kilobytes of memory now this 64 kilobytes of memory it is divided into 32 pages and each page is of 2 kilobytes okay so complete 64 kilobytes of memory we are getting okay and each page is of 2 kilobyte okay now the addresses of these pages it will be like 
every page will have the address is of uh, 16 bits okay in these 16 bits the starting 5 bits they indicate the page number and the remaining 11 bits these are the addresses okay so in this total 16 bits 5 bits indicate the page number so if we are jumping at a memory location suppose the subroutine is written on the same page because page memory is what 2 kilobytes of same page memory we are having so if it is uh, if the subroutine is written at a memory location which is lying on the same page so that type of call instruction is called the absolute call instruction and if it is jumping or if it is uh, if the subroutine is written on a different page so that case the call instruction is called the long call and we have to provide the complete 16 bit address in it so in long call instruction we will have 16 bit address and in absolute call instruction we will provide only 11 bit address because this 5 bit address which is indicating the page number it is going to be same in this case okay so let us now study these instructions in detail first we will start with the l call instruction the mnemonic for this is L C A L L. L is for long and call instruction is it and then we will write the address and this address is of 16 bit okay this uh, instruction L call it is an unconditional call instruction It calls the subroutine It is an unconditional call means whenever uh, we are writing this instruction in the main program, the microcontroller it is always going to call the subroutine. There is no condition that when this condition is fulfilled, then only the subroutine will be executed. Every time whenever we are writing this instruction in the main program, it is going to execute the subroutine. So unconditional call is there, no condition is uh, specified in this instruction also this instruction it calls the subroutine and this subroutine is written at the memory location which is indicated by this 16 bit address so this 16 bit address uh, at this memory location the subroutine is written so microcontroller it is going to jump at that memory location it is going to execute that subroutine and return back to the main program it is a 3 byte instruction, 1 byte is for this uh, opcode L call and 2 bytes are for this 16 bit address. Okay, so total it is having, it is the 3 byte instruction. Now, uh, how this L call instruction works? First, because this instruction is written at some memory location. Okay, so microcontroller, the address of the next instruction that will be stored in the program counter so program counter so uh, suppose that this l call instruction it is written at the memory location 3 2 5 4 so program counter contents will be this 3 2 5 4 so 3 will be added in it so when we are executing this L call instruction because it is a 3 byte instruction so 3 bytes will be required for, by the program counter. So suppose program counter is 3254 so we are adding 3 to it okay. So now the contents will become program counter where the next instruction is written will be 3257 okay. Now this is the address where the next instruction is written. 
now we have to because the microcontroller it has to jump to the 16 bit memory location where the subroutine is written and when it has executed subroutine it has to return back so to get this address where the next instruction is written it has to store this address at some memory location so now it is going to store it in the stack suppose in 8051 microcontroller when it is reset the stack pointer is initialized at 07h okay now we have to store this address in the stack pointer so stack pointer will be incremented by 1 it will become 08 okay and then this uh, 57 will be stored in this 08 again stack pointer is incremented it is become 09 and 32 will be stored in it so suppose this is the stack it is 07 it is 08 and this is 09 so stack pointer is first initialized at 07 at this memory location no data is stored first we are going to increment it by 1 it will become 08 now 57 will be stored then it is again incremented it becomes 09 and then 32 is stored and then microcontroller it is going to jump at the 16 bit address where the subroutine is written it is going to execute that uh, subroutine and return back to the main program and when it is returning back it will again pop up these addresses from the stack using the pop instruction for retrieving the data from the stack and then it will get the address where the next instruction is written so it is returned back to the main program okay now if we diagrammatically represent it suppose this is our main program where all the instructions are written and this l call instruction it is written as 3254 memory location here we have this 16 bit address where the subroutine is written suppose the subroutine is written here okay now when we are storing this in the main program it will require three bytes so 3254 3255 and 3256 all will be uh, captured or occupied by this l call instruction and 3257 next instruction is written which is suppose add a comma b okay so when this instruction is executed it is going to jump at the memory location where subroutine is written it is going to execute it return back to the main program okay so this instruction 3257 it is stored in the stack at that time so because here in this uh, l call instruction we are jumping to a memory location which is on any page okay because 64 kilobytes divided into 32 pages so we are occupying all the program memory from 0000 to fff that is why this instruction is called l call that is long call instruction second type of instruction call instruction we are having is a call a is for absolute call instruction we are having and here we will write the address and this address is an 11 bit address okay so this is absolute call instruction now uh, this absolute call instruction it is going to call the subroutine which is located at this 11 bit address which is specified in the instruction itself and this is a two byte instruction one byte is for this a call opcode and one byte is for this 11 bit address so two byte instruction it is having so suppose that we are uh, in just like the l call instruction suppose this s call 
and the 11 bit address this is written at the memory location 8549 so it is a two byte instruction so 8549 and 854a because we have to add two in it so 4b okay so at this memory location next instruction will be written so this address has to be stored in the stack now again stack pointer it is initialized at 07 it will be incremented by 1 it will become 08 4b is stored in it again stack pointer is incremented and 85 is stored in it okay Microcontroller then jumps to this 11 bit address where the subroutine is written. It is going to execute it. Again, it will return back to the main program, popping the contents of the stack, getting the address where the next instruction is written, and then it will continue the execution of the main program. Now, here because we are writing only an 11 bit address here, the remaining 5 bits are same okay where the main program is written the five bits remains the same so on the same mem uh, memory page that is two kilobyte page the subroutine is written so starting uh, five bits we are getting from the program counter and the remaining 11 bits are available with us in the instruction itself okay so this is how we will get the complete 16 bit address 11 bit from the instruction and 5 bits from the program counter. So because we are jumping to a memory location which is on the same page that is why it is called an absolute call instruction. So that is the difference between the two call instructions. Next we have is the return instruction which is always written in the at the end of the subroutine so that when the completely we are executed the subroutine we can return back to the main program now uh, when we are using this call instruction we are storing the address of the next instruction in the stack okay and we are using the push instruction to store that address now when we are using this return instruction so after execution of the subroutine microcontroller is returning back so again it wants this address so now it is going to retrieve back these contents so here pop instruction is used okay suppose uh, now when we are popping the contents first the stack pointer is at 09 so stack pointer is currently at 09 and 09 is having the content 85 so 85 will be retrieved stack pointer will be decremented it will become 08 then 4b will be retrieved okay again stack pointer will be decremented and it will become 0, 07 so this pop instruction it is going to pop two bytes from the stack and get the address where the next instruction is written this return instruction it is a one byte instruction only ret that is opcode is written so one byte will be required okay so uh, in subroutines instructions we studied only two instructions the call and the return instruction the call instruction it is of two types absolute call and long call and return instruction is a one byte instruction so in this video we studied about the subroutine instructions in the 8051 microcontroller i hope that this video is clear to you thank you